Hello, this is a lesson three in how to make a model boat. It's actually an ornament for the house, but it can be used as a model for model collectors. Or it can be used for toys for children. Although, every time you make a, a certain toy, you've got to make sure it's child proof if you're going to give it to a child. Like for example, with this, you might have to take the flag off and, and, and not use the flag because they can break the flag and you know, chew it and all this. Okay, so um, that's pretty safe without the flag. You might have to make sure it's all, all water, uh, sorry, uh, child proof in anything that you make for children. But for ornaments or for model collecting, for children now old enough to know about child proof things. Um, then you can definitely have it for that reason, but not young children where they um, has to be child proof. Okay, so um, so we're going to continue from the previous lesson, and here we've got some paints. We've got blue and red, and we're going to mix this and get a different color. Okay, so um, here. We've got blue edge. There's only a little bit of paint here left, and, and it's all, all gone in the bottom. It's very thick, as you can see here. I don't know if the camera can see that, but very thick. So this is water. I think it's water. I can't see properly the writing, so I don't know. But I think it's watercolor. I don't know. I think if I remember correctly, when I used it last time, it was water. So we take a chance and put some water in there. If it's not watercolor, it means oil. We just spoiled it. Should find out. Put some water there and thin it thin it. If it's watercolour, you can put sorry, you can put water in it and thin it up and have more paint. Okay. If it's oil based paint, then you can't put water in it. You have to put turps. I think it's turps. Find out anyway. I use watercolour paints most of the time. Now that's gone thinner. Okay, mix it good. Let that settle down. Now there's your thick too. So we'll put a bit of water in here. Okay, and mix that good. Okay, you need to mix it a good three minutes or a few minutes or something. So we we'll speed the process up. Mix them both at the same time. might put a piece of newspaper or A4 paper like right here to make sure there's no mess on the table. You might need a big one if you're a beginner, but just a little one like this should be you'll be fine. Okay, I hope I don't get anything on the floor, but that's okay. You just clean up, it's watercolour, so you clean up anyway. So we've got to get a paintbrush. Okay, so well, we've got the paintbrushes here actually. Okay. Okay, get the paintbrush, okay, you get the water out, this is just water, okay, so it's got water, you just get the water out like this, once you've washed it, okay, and what we do is we mix this, and we wait to get the lid, Bring the red. Very young. And just use a bit of blue. Very young. Mix it. You get a fantastic. It's not bad. Oh, forgot something. Silly me. Okay, before we do this, I had to probably fill up this a little bit, 
the best way to get polyphenol, you have to have two holes. This one I've made for the flag, but it had two holes here. And the best way to make polyphenol is with um, sawdust and PVA glue. Mix it up and it should be fine. And I just have to sand it down. If you use a couple of hours ago, I can straighten up. Now, okay. Okay, so we just sand it a little bit to get the smooth shape here. That's a bit of a thing that not many people know. These days they made it, nowadays they did it. This has already been pre sanded before, but from the from the rest of the shell, just sanded the um the rough um hole that is that we've got. Um where we got um That is okay. So just come here, come up here. And just go a little grain. Okay. Sweet, there's too much paint here. Like that. We'll take some of the paint off. We we'll put too much in it. That's okay, just take it off. Do it elsewhere. Paint brushes only doesn't only put on paint, you can take off paint as well. Okay. Like that. side Leave a gap there so you can hold it. Spread this here, down with the grain. And 
we'll take a break and we'll do the rest of it it's pretty much the same way the rest of it's done I think you can get a little bit of spread the paint a little bit here okay okay so we do the other side and underneath and that and that's all there is to it um, and I'll show you the finished product in a moment okay um, yeah taking a break from a bit and be back in five well in a couple of seconds okay so there you have it okay you see that okay and on the other side here well the paint's still wet but we'll under a little bit but that's okay we can leave it under it it's going to stand like this so we can do we have to do it here though okay okay so um back in a moment <laughs> Okay, hello. So there's the finished product that is under there. Okay, and here, although I've got my fingerprints all over this because it's not dried yet, so it's we have to do the touch ups like here. Just use the paint brush, okay, before it dries. Has it dried yet? And you just wipe it like that, step like that, so I can show you the can you can you know. Okay, I'm going to show you here, camera. Like I said, it's good to be a, a double sided uh, builder or worker or something. We look at everywhere here. Okay. But we can just change hands now. We go on the other side. That side looks alright. Okay. And I'm going to do more touch up because I'm touching this with my hand. Okay. And I'm putting a picture of it. I don't usually do that, but um, for the camera now we're doing it, so you can see what's going on, okay? And then, um, we'll get a more paint there as we do the touch-ups. Okay, we're going to get the finger pits off now, any moment. But that will be done later on, off camera, okay? So, because we don't usually put fingerprints on there. Okay, so there it is there. Okay, there's on the other side. Okay, okay, over here. And that, there you have it. You put yourself a boat. Okay, if you want it, you can put the flag on. Of course, you don't stick a hole there on the top if you don't want the flag. Okay, now uh, another thing. You have to paint the, this as well, which we, we, you do that. So, same basic you see, you just paint it and put the flag on, which will, it's a, it's a matter of getting a complex packet and folding it and just stacking it over here. Okay, like that. And got the flag up there. That's all there is to it. Uh, well, one, I want to show you that. Um, just explain it. And that's it. The next thing you've got to know is that these have to be washed out immediately. Straight after you finish, you put in water, this is water. It's a bit, it was a bit white because I took it out of paint before just, just seconds ago. Right. Okay, take it out as much as possible and then put it in some clean water here and then later on wash this water as well. Okay, so paint, paint, paints are never left like this. Never, ever, ever left like this. Okay, put it back in here because it'll dry if you leave it. It's meant most people will know that, if not everyone. But for those who don't know about paints, that aren't anyone but young children, okay, you have to close that in. We should be making any, much noise here because people are sleeping, but a little bit is alright. So we just get a hammer. Okay. okay, and just bang it here, usually on the ground, 
on the ground or on here we find. About a little bit of noise, so I don't think that's going to wake up anyone. It's early in the morning here, people are sleeping. We don't want to make too much noise. It locks it a bit. A little muscle, muscle will take a little bit of noise. In the morning, we'll bang this a little bit more uh, to seal it a lot more tight. Because we can't bang too, too much noise. It'll be too much noise, people are sleeping. I don't think this is left like this to show you something. In the workforce, you never leave nails hanging like this. This is done, set up, for your understanding. It's early in the morning now, I've noticed this. Supposed to say, someone left it like this. What do I do about people sleeping, I can't pay my... So you put it in a safe place. You don't want anybody in the morning to come here and stab themselves, especially children, you put it in a safe place. Nails. Facing that way, if, if, if possible. Okay. Safe place. And in the morning, we remember to pull the nails out. And if we're done, it's in a safe place anyway. But it's best to pull it out in the morning. No one's around here now, except me. So no one's going to go stab themselves. I'm not, I'm not aware of it, so I'm not going to do that. Okay. Another thing is, you notice the woodwork area is untidy because I've been working. So it's going to get messy. But once. The job is finished, you clean up. You don't want to leave tools lying around, okay? People, accidents can make and fall. They were caught here hanging, okay? People can trip over. That shouldn't be like that. But for now, for the film, because I'm shooting the video, it's all right for now. But usually it's not hanging like that. It's, it's usually on, 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 up on high. I've got it up, up high, so you don't trip over it. Okay, so, but I'm aware of it, there's no one here, and I'm not going to trip over it, I'm aware of it. But in the morning, you have to pull, you know, it has to be taken away by the morning. Everything has to be tied up by the morning, because when people wake up, they're not going to come in here too late on, but if they do, I don't want these things falling on their feet or them injuring themselves some way. It's going to be tidy, by the way, if it's on the wall, tied it up. You know, and put in the right place. You can find them easier as well. Your tools when for the next job, instead of looking all over the place for them. Okay, so that helps you as well. Okay, thank you for watching. God be with you and take care. And remember, always uh, read the safety rules on woodwork. Read all of it. Get, get, you can look it up in the internet. Or, I, I gave you some some rules, but um, there are a lot more. Read the rules, safety and regulations. And make sure you play it safe. And like I said in the previous video, you can play around a little bit close to a hand saw if you know what you're doing. Not if you don't, but if you know what you're doing, if you're very good with a saw, but not with a, an electric saw. Because electric saw, one mistake, and it'll chop your whole finger off, your whole hand. Okay? A saw like this, not if you don't know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, if you're a beginner, you can hurt yourself. But if you're a professional, you know, the worst thing that can happen to you in, a, in you know, once in a lifetime after you're a professional is scratch yourself, okay? You just put some dead toilet, it's all right. But not if you're a beginner, you, you've got to learn to control it before you put your hands anywhere near it and to keep the hands steady and all that. But no electric tools, don't go near, near the blades or anything like this. It's too dangerous, I wouldn't do it. Thank you for watching. Um... God be with you all and bless you.